Every day we're fueling something. Every single stupid day. <laughs> Sure, are looking kind of bright today. School bright day or something like that. Neon day. That gives me a lot more room. Yeah. Feels like my feet. I have a huge. Yeah. Open space. Well, that should make everything feel better with the ankle, though, too. Ah, it's a wheelchair van. That's what they're there for. Alrighty, we're up in the city right now. We needed to run up here, Bud's having some ankle issues. Seavers, I think that's what they're going with there. It's basically when you grow really fast. And as everybody says, you have been growing like a weed here lately, so we kind of seen that coming a mile away. Mm -hmm. It's kind of funny when you walk into a doctor's office, it's not, hi, how's it going anymore? It's uh, your copay is $75, so your copay is $35. <laughs> you pay right off the bat before you go. Do you know how to get out of here, Troy? There's a way over here. There's a way over here? Okay. Anyway, we're up in Sioux City right now. We're going to swing over to Subway. We're going to grab, uh, yeah, just going to run over to Subway, grab some lunch, get Bud back to school, go back home, load Dad's pickup up, and then we're going to run down to Topeka, Kansas and grab the first class. And then we're going to go back to Trucking World. Try to make it to Thursday's game, okay? Okay. To an Ottawa, right? I think so. Okay. Other than that, I think that's about it. Alrighty? Mm -hmm. You be good, listen to mama. Get used to dad being back in the truck. Okay. <laughs> you got used to me being home for a while, get used to dad being in the truck now, right? Okay. Alrighty. Love you. Love you too, bud. This place. Yay. It's almost like you were just here yesterday. I know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Love you, buddy. Love you. Have a good week. I will. See ya. Bye. All right. Troy's dropped off at school. Now we're gonna mosey on back home. Fill up Dad's pickup with my stuff for the truck. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna take Opie yet. I haven't decided. I'm leaning towards no. But I, I think I might take Opie. He might fit in the back seat there. Drive my sister crazy on the way. Because, yep, my sister's going to ride with us down the Topeka, Kansas. Give Dad some company on the way home. I think I might take Opie. I don't know. He was Opie was whining about not having enough room in Dad's back seat before. I'll put somebody back there. He might whine some more. That's awesome. That's what I all right, so, all right. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, okay. How's this gonna work? <laughs> what the heck? Here, here, move over. <laughs> he did. Here, he, he, he moved over. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I started getting a hint. It's only for half a ride. Uh-huh. Your pets, but no kisses, okay? Oh, you gotta yeah. share the back seat now. Uh -huh. This is gonna be a first. Uh huh. Okay. You scoot over on your side, okay? Your cats will be. You're a cat person, I right? I am. Oh my god, he just licked me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Obi. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I love you. Let's see how this goes. Uh huh. Let's see. This ought to be fun. All the beans. That road that I take home, the, there's a lot of beans out already. Oh, really? old, old Highway 141. Uh-huh. 
Anytime he can get attention, he's happy. As long as you're not a kid. He doesn't like attention from kids. Mm-hmm. Like a horse. Look yeah. It's huge. Dad, you can keep doing that. That dog is going to shed no matter what. He's going to cover you. You ready? Get on up in there. Quick stop at Love's Travel Center, or Love's Truck Stop, just south of Council Bluffs, Iowa, on Interstate 29. The trip's going real good. I'm enjoying riding with Dad and my sister. And Opie, I think he's getting used to it. He was a little crab-assy before. He wasn't liking having to share the back seat. But my sister's been petting him non-stop all the way down, so I think he's okay with it. Sack and Fox Casino, just off of Highway 75 here in Kansas. We're about 45 minutes from uh, Kenworth down there in Topeka, Kansas, so just a little bit further. I'm pretty sure Opie's in heaven right now. He's enjoying having someone actually pet him the entire time that, uh, that we're riding. Nothing is riding quite nice, though. Road construction, a lot of road construction on this road still, and it just will not lighten up. We got a bowl on it. Yeah, you gotta make sure it's not too hot. That's you, Stacy. You said you wanted to feed Opie a cheeseburger. Oh, jeez. He acts like it's been so long. Oh, no. hope he hasn't been a long time. No. Oh. Yeah, poor you see how he leaves his butt on and everything on yeah, the. I see that. Yeah, that's how he rolls. Oh, this is hard. I, 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 I. I took my nose off. If you leave it there, though, oh, okay. it'll consume it all at once. <laughs> Can I put it on your nose? <laughs> Could you do that with Millie? No. No, that's why I say. Although she would, uh, she didn't quite go for it like you do. <laughs> you can't see it through the camera, but my truck's right there. There's too much sun. Too much sun. What do you want? Huh? What do you want?
Okay, we've made it to Topeka. We've picked our truck up. We went over, we grabbed an empty trailer, and we are currently en route for Dodge City, Kansas, which where we will drop this trailer off and hook on to a loaded trailer, and then we'll be heading for Dakota City, Nebraska. Everything seems to be going okay. The clutch is working like it should, and well, we'll talk more about that money side of things a little bit later on. Opie is getting used to riding in a truck again. He seems to be pretty happy. Nice and slow. Come on. Nice and slow. There you go. Hey, Dad, you forgot my steps, didn't you? Yeah, I forgot your steps. You're not a light dog to lift into this truck either. It's your fault. I know, I know. Yep, I forgot his steps at home. What do you do? You can't remember everything. I took him home because I was going to, we were doing some camping. And I wanted to uh, use them for he can get up into the pickup and stuff. Abilene. I think we're in Abilene, Kansas right now, right off of Interstate 70. I don't know how much further we have till Dodge City. The clutch is feeling really nice. They ended up doing a flywheel. They replaced the clutch and a solenoid. No, not a solenoid. I forgot the name of it already. It's where it takes the play out of your shifter. And it's feeling really good. Um, it was really nice. They had the truck sitting there, running, waiting for me, because I told them I'd be there down there probably around 5.30. And then uh, they were easy to deal with. So far, I have nothing bad to say about uh, doing business there at the Kenworth there in Topeka. Um, Price-wise, they hit it right on the head, what I told you guys it'd be. It was $7,500. Before you start yipping and yapping about prices, I did do some calling around while I was home just because I was bored one day. And I could have gotten it maybe about a thousand bucks to maybe fifteen hundred dollars cheaper at a few other places, but then I would have had to factor in the tow bill. Because remember, first class was stuck in second gear. I could not make it anywhere else. Y'all done? Alrighty. They are saying a couple things that kind of has me concerned though when they were working on it. And one of them is an easy fix, the other one's just a little bit more of a confusing fix. They had told me when it sat for a few days, okay, you can smell. They told me when it sat for a few days they had to charge the batteries up. Um, I looked in the back, I can't find anything I left off. Those batteries are four years old, so I probably do have a weak one in there. The other one though, they told me once they got her all fixed up and they went out to start it today to get it ready for me to pick up, it had lost all of its prime. They had to prime it up to get it running. That one puzzles me, so I'm kind of scared to shut my truck off right now.
Kinsley, 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 Kansas. That's where we're stopped at right now. They have a really cool tank here. We've been here before, but this is where we're just stopped. We're just taking a little CS, little break, small little break. Letting Opie run around, letting my legs stretch around, trying to get back into that whole trucking rhythm. You guys know how it goes when you're not in the truck for a while, or you're not at your job for a while, and you get back into it. You're kind of like, whoa, this can get really boring, man. But it's not boring. It's just we're getting back into the groove. Not too far now from uh, Dodge City. We're swing up here, we're taking left, we're going another few miles, and then we're being to Dodge. I don't know what that is. Why don't you get away from it? Come here. I wonder what's in there. We have 42,000 pounds of, uh, well, what the paperwork says is packing house materials. It's kind of weird. It's meat. It's meat that needs further processing before it comes to you guys. We're going to drag this up to Dakota City, Kansas, or Dakota City, Nebraska. Let's try to talk today, Schmidt. First off, though, this is a whole lot of dust. A lot of dust mixed with we dropped off a dirty truck when we got it worked on two weeks ago so we're gonna spin right over here get this thing cleaned up You ever get those bumps where you just lift all your hands up and say, whatever happens, happens? Here in Stinky Town, they have a lot of those bumps. It's a mixture of rotten cow poop and oil. If you ever wonder what Taj City smells like, it's a mixture of rotten cow poop and oil. It's, it's not a pleasant smell. How are you doing again, sir? Well, you look just too busy. I <laughs> know, right? Good. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. I'm just going to wash the truck. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and give it the works. Engine, undercarriage, um, sit, uh, wax. Citrus, Rain-X? Yeah, Rain-X. There we go. Rain-X. Rain no citrus? Nah, I wouldn't okay. worry about it. So Rain-X, undercarriage, engine, soap and water on the truck. Yep. All right, sir. That works. Thanks, man. You know, I often get asked how much does it cost to actually get your truck washed at these beacons because I only wash the truck. I don't worry about the trailer. At most beacons, you're probably looking at probably around, I'd say, anywhere from 60 to 70 bucks, maybe. Some beacons, it's still down into the 50s if you get the full whammy, the, the wash, the wax, the undercarriage, the engine, stuff like that. This one here, 
Whew. $82. I think we're just going to run out here to the outside of town just a couple miles and that's where we're going to camp out. It's a little bit after 1 o'clock in the morning now. And I think I'm pooped. We started our day off going to Sioux City with Troy, and then uh, going down the Topeka, getting our truck, and going through all that, then coming over here. So I think I got about three miles left in me, and I think we're going to call it done for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe. We are almost 40,000 subscribers, if a lot of you haven't seen that yet. You guys stay safe, and as always, I'll see you next time. Thank you.